Well, welcome all. A little while ago, uh, I put out a video about a remote control that I got for the uh, Pocket 4K, which is a Bluetooth one. And it worked quite well, uh, and I was using it quite a bit, but a failure that uh, came with it, which I was sort of anticipating, was that the battery uh, in it probably wouldn't last very long. And it was starting to drain very, very quickly when I was using it. And uh, what I originally thought was uh, the possibility of using uh, direct uh, USB-C cable into it uh, from the battery on the camera uh, to power it even if the battery was drained turned out not to be the case after all and uh, so it was a bit of a failure there I pulled the back off uh, which is quite easy to do and the battery inside is a fairly generic uh, LiPo battery that you can get off eBay for about five dollars but I was a bit frustrated with the fact that uh, uh, even while it was working um, the battery didn't last very long and uh, so I sort of stopped using it and I've actually taken the LiPo battery out of it so that it doesn't swell up and uh, do all sorts of nasty things that they can possibly do when they get uh, completely discharged. And I started looking around elsewhere for uh, a remote to see if there was a possibility for it there. There was an idea niggling in the back of my head for quite some time and uh, with a little bit of searching uh, I've sort of come up with a solution that is quite uh, feasible and uh, has actually turned out to work quite well, even though I haven't had an extensive use with it at the moment, but I have had uh, use with a similar product. Now, before I get on to that, um, this is the remote from the uh, Insta360 uh, 1R camera, uh, the GPS remote, or uses it with all uh, Insta360 cameras, um, and it's really good. Uh, I wish this was uh, the sort of remote that was available for the Pocket 4Ks, um, which was easy to set up and everything else. Um, but that's not really the uh, the case. Uh, nobody's sort of come up with anything like that. But um, with a lot of searching, I came up with an alternative solution, and that's that sort of remote. And this actually works really, really well. As you note, there's not a huge physical difference between the two, uh, so it's quite a practical uh, thing to to put onto the camera. Um, finding a uh, mounting options for it was. Uh, uh, not quite as easy, uh, but I've come up with a couple of solutions which I'll talk about shortly. Now you may look at that and go, that looks like a mobile phone. Uh, and in fact it is. It's an Android 6 microphone and uh, has all the full features of a uh, uh, an Android phone, albeit with a very, very small screen. In fact, I'll give you a comparison. That's my normal phone and that's the Android phone uh, that I'm using as a remote. Now, I haven't got a SIM card or anything like that in there and what I'm using is the uh, Blackmagic camera control app that I showed once before and I'll put a link to that uh, uh, underneath the video so you can uh, have a look at it and it works really well. So all it is is you just connect the, uh, the app to the camera controller, put in the uh, passcode that the camera gives you and you're right to go every time you turn it on it connects. Now the advantage with this is that this will actually run even if the battery goes down off the charger so just like any other mobile phone it doesn't suddenly disconnect uh, because the battery's down and you've got it charging and uh, the other fact, fact is that uh, it it lasts quite a long time with the battery I've had this on now for quite some time and the battery seems to hold up a hell of a lot better than what it did in this device so it works well and uh, I've been just using it uh, on and off uh, recently, uh, even though we're in COVID at the moment, there's not much of an opportunity to do much as I've noted before, but to test it out. And uh, the way that I've mounted it, there are two options. The simple one, which I haven't actually received yet, is a, uh, a lanyard that you can put underneath the gel case. It actually came with a gel case and uh, other bits and pieces, and it goes underneath the back part of it and pops out where the USB uh, charging port is and it doesn't block the charging port and you can just attach the lanyard to it so it hangs off your chest if that's a preferred way of uh, actually using it. So I don't know how well that works. But also in interim, I ordered a, uh, a little adapter or a holder uh, from Niwa. It's actually designed for, uh, uh, I think it is cameras or phones and uh, power banks and things like that. But uh, what I've done is I've modified it just slightly and it fits perfectly into the side of the camera like that. So it's accessible to my thumb because that's my preferred way of operating. So you can hold it and look at the camera, turn it on, turn it off, and it gives you an indicator straight away when it's working or not. And that actually is quite handy, it works quite well. And uh, it took a bit of finding uh, to get the right sized adapter you have to actually check it out and I'll put the link to the Neewa one there in the 
video as well. Because of the size, there are some that look like they'll fit, but they're too actually don't open up far enough to fit. So there's a uh, very effective and uh, useful uh, Bluetooth uh, remote control for the Pocket 4K and the 6K and the Pro 2 because they all use the same uh, Bluetooth uh, connection system and uh, for anybody who's been looking for a uh, remote I've tested it out distance wise in uh, the open field area for some reason it uh, only went about 15 metres before it uh, uh, conked out and when I went to the gravel area it uh, went almost 30 metres and I think what was going on I had the camera just sitting on the top back of the uh, spare wheel on my four wheel drive and I suspect that the metal uh, tinted uh, rear windows were probably reflecting the Bluetooth signal so it allowed it to go a little bit further out. But there's no way they're going to be using that, uh, that sort of distance. This is going to be on the camera itself or hanging off a lanyard. And uh, that's basically what I plan to, uh, to use or, or how to use it. And if I need to recharge it, I can just print, simply plug it into a USB uh, cord either off the battery or off a uh, power bank that I might have in my pocket. So the only negative aspect with this uh, holder is with the way the phone mounts, I can't actually connect a USB cable to it um, while it's on the mount in that fashion. And it won't go sideways because it uh, won't hold it because it's too narrow. But uh, that's a minor thing because now at least I've got a remote that uh, works, uh, works well, and uh, the battery uh, life on it is a hell of a lot better than uh, what it was with this uh, other uh, remote that I had. So I thought I'd put that out there for people who are still hunkering for a uh, remote for the uh, Pocket 4K and 6K, etc and uh, looking for a relatively inexpensive option. It wasn't a very uh, pricey thing. It took a while to come from the US. Uh, it was Amazon US where I purchased it from. And uh, so it actually works quite well. Taking a bit of a chance uh, with one of these things, but uh, I think it's worth it in the long run. And uh, if it lasts for three or four years, uh, like most mobile phones at least will do, I think it uh, will be a pretty good purchase. So uh, on that note, I'll call it cheers.